Hello everyone, welcome to today's daily pronunciation video. My name is Anna, this is English Like a Native, and every day this week I have been up on YouTube live helping you for 10 minutes to learn some new pronunciation. <laughs> maybe you've covered it before, maybe it's not new, but just to perfect your pronunciation. Uh, this could be helpful for natives and for non-natives as well. Hello everyone, good morning Yuya. Hello Brian, hello Mac, um, Depeche, Eric, hi. Um, who else have we got? Mustafa, Thomas, Khaled, all right. Hello in Nepal, wonderful. So, as this is only 10 minutes long, let's get started, shall we? So today we are looking at the short vowel O. Oh. O. Oh. So yesterday we did the long, um, what did we do yesterday? We did O, didn't we? O, so the long vowel O. If you weren't here yesterday, then the videos do stay on this channel, so do go and check those out. But someone asked me, what is the difference between O and O? They're both exactly the same shape in the mouth, so we have to imagine like you have a huge marble in your mouth and there's a big space. The tongue is down, O. And it's the same with this, it's just shorter, o, oh, o. Oh. But you'll notice there's slightly more space between the lips, o, oh, o, oh, o, oh, o, oh, o, oh, o. Oh. All right, that's the main difference. And of course, one is long and one is short. So we're going to look today at pronunciation involving the short vowel, o. Oh. It appears in words such as hot, hot. So I want you to repeat this after me. Hot. It is hot today. It is hot today. Make sure you're not constricting that H. I don't want to hear any hots. And I don't want anyone missing off that H either. Sometimes my students say hot. It is very hot today. But we want a nice aspirate H. It's very hot today. We also have this sound in the word what. What? This is a funny one because sometimes I hear people saying what? What? But it's not. Even though it's got an A, we have this O oh sound. So make sure you change that vowel into O. Oh, wa, what? What? Do you think it's hot? Good. Okay, we also have it in the word got. Got. What have you got? Got. So always making sure we have that big wide space. Hello if you're joining me for the very first time. In fact, now that you're all here, well I have about 75 of you in, why don't you all make me very happy and press that big thumb button. You know that a thumb makes me happy and if you're enjoying this, you find it helpful, then all I ask in return is that you press the thumb, the like button. And if you're not already a subscriber, then do subscribe and press the bell notification button next to subscribe and that will tell you every time I'm live. Great. So let's carry on. We have hot, what, got. So let's now put it into a sentence. We have Lottie, which is a name which is short for Charlotte. So some people who are called Charlotte might prefer to be called Lottie. Lottie shot off often. Lottie Shot off often. Now there's a few things to talk about here. Shot off. Shot off. This is a phrasal verb which means to, to leave very quickly. So if I leave the house very quickly, I might shoot off. I might tell you, I'm sorry, I'm late for a meeting. I have to shoot off. I have to leave very quickly. So if somebody shot off, they left very quickly. Like they were shot from a gun. They went very quickly. Hello everyone joining me here. Hello. So we have um, Lottie shot off, so she left very quickly. Often. So she left regularly very quickly. So Lottie shot off often. Now many people ask me, do I pronounce the T in often? The answer is, in standard British English, you can pronounce it either way. You can say often, often, or you can say often, 
often, often, often. It's completely up to you. The Cambridge Dictionary gives both pronunciations because both are widely used and widely accepted. So often or often, completely your choice, whichever you prefer. I tend to mix it up. Sometimes I say often, sometimes I say often. Depends how I feel. <laughs> okay, so Lottie shot off often. Then we have the next sentence. What have you got, Scott? So I'm asking Scott what he possesses. What have you got, Scott? What have you got, Scott? How are you finding that? What have you got, Scott? Make sure we have a nice rounded W. We covered the sound the other day. W what have you got, Scott? What have you got, Scott? Good. Then we have not a cross but a dot. Not a cross but a dot. Not a cross but a dot. You'll notice that I'm changing these into a schwa sound, uh, rather than saying a. Ah. Not a cross but a dot. We wouldn't say that. It doesn't sound natural. We change this into schwa, make it weak. Not a, not a, not a cross, but a, but a dot. Not a cross, but a dot. Um, Hippolyto says, could you explain again what Lottie is? Lottie is a name of a person, a female name. So it's a name, it's a short name for Charlotte. Charlotte, Lot, Lottie, Charlotte, Lottie. So it's just short, shortened name. Um, yes, Mohammed, it's almost like this is one word, butter, butter. Not a butter, not a cross, but a dot. Okay. Great. Okay, let's carry on. Can you see the next one? Mm, yes, you can. Don't hog that spot. Don't hog that spot. Don't hog. What I'm saying is don't, don't take possession of. So if you hog something, if you hog it, you keep it to yourself. You, um, for example, if, if I'm a child and there is a toy box full of toys and I have all the toys, I'm playing with all the toys and keeping all the toys close to me so no other children can play, you could say that I am hogging the toys. If I'm on the settee, on the couch, and rather than sitting in one place, I'm lying across the whole couch so no one else can sit down. I'm hogging the couch. So someone might say, don't hog the couch, let the others sit down. And by saying that spot, we mean that place. Don't hog that place. Don't hog that spot. Good. All right, let's do the last few we have. Oh yes, don't forget, don't forget. Don't forget. Too hot for a hot pot. Too hot for a hot pot. A hot pot is a, a, a dish, a food, a meal. Um, it's like a stew. It's meat and potatoes in um, like a, a stock in, in water that's all boiled together to make a very tasty stew. So too hot for a hot pot. Today it's too hot for a hot pot. Too hot for a, for a, for a hot pot. Too hot for a hot pot. Excellent. Oh, we're getting close to our 10 minute point. We need to hurry up. To be on time, I'd better get go. Oh, I better get off. To be on time, I better get off. To get off is the same as to shoot off, to leave. I better get off. I better get going. I better go. I better get off. I better get off. I'd better get off. Okay, so to be on time, so in order not to be late, to be on time, I'd better get off. Okay, and then finally we have click on subscribe. So if you haven't already, please do click on that subscribe button. So that's all of our sentences. We have hot, what, got, Lottie shot off often, what have you got, Scott, not a cross but a dot, 
don't hog that spot. Too hot for a hot pot. To be on time, I'd better get off. And click on subscribe. And guys, that takes us to 10 minutes. I will just say a quick hello. Um, yes, if you haven't already, please click on that thumb. If you find these helpful, this is an experiment this week. So I'm doing this this week, every day, Monday to Friday, to see if you find this helpful. Do you like 10 minute sessions? Do you enjoy these sessions being live? If you do and you find this helpful, click on the thumb, let me know, and then I'll know to do this again for next week and the week after and the week after. Okay, this channel is all about you and helping you. So do press subscribe, click the bell notification button, click on the thumb, and if you want to join me um, anywhere else on social media, then all the links to all my social media and my websites are in the description below this video. So do check those out. There's also some goodies there and things that you might find helpful. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I will be live again in just under an hour and a half. I'm going to be doing a long live lesson on the subject of football, okay? So come and join me there. I'll have more time to answer questions on that feed. So I'll be here at two o'clock in just over an hour, in just under an hour and a half. See you there. All right, guys, take care. Bye.